Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Reseller TV. We're doing a storage unit unboxing. I got two storage units actually. Uh, paid five hundred dollars for the two, so one was like four twenty, one was eighty. So we'll just say five hundred for the two. Uh, one looked like it was for an older person. I had like a walker in it, um, and then the other one looked like a younger person. Um, do I know that for sure? I don't. Um, and I didn't want to film at the facility because I had to clear out both units in 48 hours. And it was super cold. It was like 30 degrees. I just wanted to get out of there, get it here in my house. I haven't looked up any. I haven't looked up anything. I haven't looked into anything. I had a side table that I'm not going to show because it's big, and then two chairs that I'm not going to show. But I'm going to try and show it. And then there's a box of paperwork that I did see. Which I'm not going to show. That's no, no reason for me to show that stuff. But I'm going to unbox everything else that I don't know what's inside. And uh, we'll see what we found. See, uh, I'd say the side table, maybe 40. Maybe I'm probably furniture. I'm going to just let go so it's not in my house and taking up room. So both the chairs and the furniture are probably $40 total on that. And there's a big reef. I probably just donate. Um, I think everything else I'm just i don't know everything else so we'll see um the reason why i bid on one was the statue behind me um i had to cover him up because tiktok is not okay with any kind of nudity and so is facebook they will take my videos down i had some they took one video down that a girl with a big you know and they, they were covered up though but they still took it down which whatever it was, that, that's their policies that's fine so it was a it was a po uh, concert poster that had some girl with boobs on it. You know, so they took that down. But uh, so I had to cover up old uh, uh, the statue of David, which they colored on. But um, twenty inch statues of David. Let's see. This one's about. This one's probably about thirty inch. Um, looks like twenty inch ones sell for about two fifty on eBay. They colored on this one. They gave him some tattoos and gave him a mohawk. So I'll probably put them up like this, and if it doesn't have any movement on it, I'll uh, try to get get all the color off of it, see if I can get it off with, like, I don't know, I'll have to look into what gets marker off, um, acetone, I don't know, something, we'll see. We'll get into that later. Um, but anyways, let's get into what I've, what I've, what I've found so far. I, I haven't found anything yet, but let's see what else we have besides the furniture. So we have a bag, doesn't look like it has a tag on it. I'm going to say $15 on that. I'll try to keep a running tab for here for all the videos. Oh, that's awesome. Petroleum jelly. Uh, let's see what else we got. Broadway Diva Nails. Some Vera Wang. It's all donation stuff. Donation stuff. We have an Easton helmet here. Um, uh, 25. Probably 25. On eBay. Or online. And on, oh, we're down to the Easton helmet. Probably another 25, so probably looking at about 65 with the two helmets and the purse right here, this box. Oh, and the statue of David, what did I say I would get for him? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask for like 500 for him probably, and we'll see what happens. We'll just go from there. And then what else we have in here? Uh, Paris Hilton, empty thing. We have a collapsible storage container. I bet you that will sell. I bet you I'll probably get 10 to 15 on that. So we'll just say 10 on that because I'm going to go low because I don't like to get rid of stuff. And then we have a baseball mitt, which I really do bit good with baseball mitts. This is a youth one. We'll say another 10 bucks, so 20. 20 plus 50 plus 15. Uh, what do we got? 85 bucks out of that box probably with the stuff, with the helmets and stuff. Cool. And then now let's get to the next bigger box here. This, this this says pots and pans on the outside, so I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that's probably what's in here. And it kind of felt like that, so... Oh, great. Oh, look, there's a box. It's upside down. Oh, I probably opened this from the wrong side. Ooh, I do like the Wilton cake pans, though. Those are a good $15 each, depending on which ones they are. That's a Miro little pan. Uh, five bucks. We got two. It'd be cool if we got some Nordic wire up in here. I sold that stuff pretty good. Um, this doesn't look like it has a brand on it. Uh, ten bucks. Happy holidays. That's Cookie Monster Wilton pan. Um, he's probably uh, fifteen. 
And then, oh, sesame, more Sesame Street. Two Sesame Streets, probably another 15 for each of those. So we got 30, 45, 50, 60 bucks in one k pans about. We got Elmo here. Um, another 15, 70, 80 bucks. We got Big Bird, another 15, 95. Heart Pan with Valentine's Day coming up. That will actually go up in value probably. I will just say 10 on that. So we'll just say we're at like 100 in cake pans. What else we got here? Pyrex. Yeah, Pyrex, but it's a little beat up. Um, I'll clean that. We'll see. We'll maybe 10 bucks on that because it's kind of dirty. Um, corningware. Some of this corningware stuff does pretty good. These are like baking pots and pans and stuff. Uh, we'll just say another 10. So we'll say 20 on that. Another little $5 cake pan. Two of them, it looks like, on there. What else we got? We got some strainers, a toaster oven, what else do we have? Some strainers, I don't know anything about strainers, but they're working in uh, A pretty big pot, what is this? Cook's Essentials, I'll have to look that up, stainless steel, non-stick, Cook's Essentials, I'll look that up. So, Plus two Cook's Essential Pans, probably 25. We'll say we got about a 125 out of that box. All right, I'm going to get some new more boxes out. So if you want to watch the rest of what I found, I got a ton. There's going to be a ton of videos. So, Hey, guys. Welcome to uh, part two of my uh, two storage units that I bought for $500. Uh, so far, we, with the furniture, the statue, and I opened up two boxes last video. And we're about $840 in of stuff I found about. Um, I might get a little bit more for some of those Wilton cake pans if you watched the last video. Um, and then we have a receiver here that looks like it goes for 100 And a blue, these weren't in a box or anything. I, I don't know what else is in these, any of these boxes. So, with the Blu-ray, maybe 30 And this uh, receiver, it's a Danon in-command series receiver. It looks like it goes for about 100 So, another $130-ish. Uh, I don't know it's, if this is just paperwork. We're not going to go through this. Which it may be. It looks like we just got paperwork in here. So I'm not going to show all that. What do we got in here? More paperwork. Okay. So yeah. Let's see. Can we open the middle part? So it looks like a book maybe. Doesn't look like anything too interesting in there, so we'll say that as nothing. Then we have some DVDs, looks like some burnt CD, VHS, or um, excuse me, DVDs. Bunch of uh, uh, Christian DVDs, I don't know, I probably won't be able to sell the ones that are burnt. Uh, oh, there we go, finally something. Uh, we have Counter-Strike, Max Payne, uh, some more... Christian stuff, so they really like to, uh, they like their shooters. Oh, we got another Max Payne and the mechanic on DVD. Um, let's just go $8 a piece on these for six. I don't know, like four, let's just say 40 bucks for those games. Actually, I think I might get a little bit more. I just sold Max Payne not too long ago. This one for actually a good amount. So we'll say, like, we'll say, we'll just say 50 bucks on those. And sometimes this Christian stuff can go for a little bit more. And it looks like we have a bunch more of those just ones I can't sell because they are burnt in Ocean's Eleven. So nothing too crazy in here. Oh, some more DVDs. Kung Fu Madness. Um, another 20 bucks in DVDs or so. So like, that box is about $70. On to the next one. We have Scrabble, which, if you don't know, if you can sell the Scrabble pieces, people like crafters like to buy those. So it's already like a used game. So that's what I'll probably do. Uh, five bucks maybe on that. What do we got in here? Just a bunch of lids. And eh, that's a zero. And also got a compound. And then a 
So that's another zero. That's empty. And that's a zero box, zero thing, and or maybe five bucks total on all that. I did get this giant teddy bear. I, these I sell stuff like this on on Etsy all the time. I'll probably get at least at least thirty for him, maybe more. Um, on Etsy, I do really well off the flush on Etsy. So we'll say, what do we say? Fifty for the. Maybe uh, 50 for the, or 70 for the DVDs, 30 for him, so like 100 bucks so far, not counting the Blu-ray and the thing. We got a purse here. Uh, that Tory Burch. I think that's a Tory Burch purse, although it doesn't look like, that might be a fake. Uh, that might be fake. So we'll just hold off on that, saying that's a Tory Burch, because it doesn't look to be in that good condition. We got a little Barbie or that. Oh yeah, it is a Barbie thing. Um, ten bucks for those two. Alright, a little five dollar plush probably. And then it looks like there's just some kids' hats in this bag here. Alright, we have a mermaid. like some kid stuff in here doesn't look like anything too valuable all right so it's in this nike box it feels empty empty nike box and oh we have some shoes let's see what we got they are the Blossom Connection. Oh, uh, maybe like 15 bucks on those. And uh, not a zero. So that box, this whole thing was, uh, uh, we're looking at about 30, $35 on that box. So that was, uh, all right. All right, we'll check out what we get next. I think that puts us, I'll have to add them up. I'll put that in the next video where we're at about. Hey everyone, welcome. This is my this is a storage um, auction clear. I bought two storage units for $500. You can go back and watch my last two videos if you want to see the other stuff I bought on that. So far, about $13.25 in sales, uh, sellable items. I paid $500 for the two. Um, so I got two more boxes here. I might only be able, I'm going to try to get make it five minutes per video um, so I can post on like TikTok and Facebook and stuff, not just YouTube. Um, but yeah, let's get into what, let's get into the next box. Looks like I think this is all shoes. What do we have? Dolce Mojo Moxie. Boots. More boots. More boots. What do we have? What does it say? Forever 21 boots. Maybe? It's like forever on. Uh, Michael Kors boots. More little booty sh shoes here. Women's boots, black boots, a lot of black boots so far. I don't know, what do you guys think these are worth about collection? We'll just say let's just say twenty dollars per pair of shoes. Pretty conservative. I don't know what that is. Some kind of back brace me. I should probably keep track of how many pairs of shoes there are. A pair of boots. So we got some vans here. Converse, Converse, um, underwear, underwear, okay. So we got Converse, more Converse, uh, more boots, don't know the brand, more boots. So this whole box is definitely just shoes. More Converse, more boots. Somebody like their black boots. Skechers, Nike slides. More vans, another thing for boots, another Converse, uh, I'm not 
show that brand, maybe a Walmart brand. Got some sandals. Converse. I went in pairs of shoes. Holy cow. More Converse, more Vans. More boots. Cons. What do we got? Skechers. Holy cow, there's so many shoes in here. Skechers, boots. Skechers, cons. Adidas. Oh yeah, we'll get about twenty dollars per pair, so maybe not for those. Oh, some little baby, some little Jordans. There we go. More shoes, more just basic Skechers. Hopefully, they have Jordans in there. Skechers, some clog shoes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that these are just twenty dollars a piece. Make it easy. Maybe some of them are worth more, maybe some I'm just going to donate, I don't know. But just to make it easy for video's sake, because there's so many, I'll look them up when I got to list them and clean them and all that good stuff. More boots, holy cow. More sketches. Oh yeah, here's a ton of more shoes in here. We got about 40, 50 pairs of shoes. Some wedges. Sweet old women's shoes. All right. Let's just call this the shoe box, and we'll say say we'll say 40 pairs of shoes at twenty dollars a piece, and that'll be what we'll call that. I was. We'll get to the next uh, next boxes uh, in the next video. All right, hey guys, this is uh, part four of my storage auction clear out. Uh, the last box was all shoes, about 40 pairs of shoes, black. It was like black uh, boots and high-end um, boots and shoe, like uh, Adidas, Jordans, some other. You can go back and watch that if you want. Um, I'd, I'd say there's about 40 pairs of shoes if we average them out to... $20 per pair. We're looking at about $800 for that box, which puts us at $2,100 and $25 for those $500 I've spent in the storage unit costs. And next one, we this has pots and pans on it. So it might, this might be a short video. This might just be some uh, run of the mill pots and pans. So let's see what we got. There's nothing there. Off to Google Lens, those. They're worth. Uh, Dealing with okay, so we do have some glass in here. Okay, anchor hawking glass baking pans. sure what that is but a little another there's a lot of will and cake in the first pots and pans I opened oh, this is so heavy uh shh what do you guys it's probably a donator clean your stuff oh, geez. then we have a cooks I'm gonna have to look that up so not a lot in this one alright I'm gonna get to and that's it for this. I'm going to get to the next video. Hey guys, welcome. Uh, we're on like part four of this storage auction. Two storage units I cleared out. We're at $2,275. I paid $500. Uh, we have the last two big, big boxes. We have two more, uh, three more medium sized boxes and about 10 to 15 small boxes still to go. So let's get into the next, uh, the next thing here. This one's uh, pretty dirty. I'll probably use this as a of a um, donation bin. All right, let's see. We have not one, but two Samsung gears. Do you think that's what's in there? Powered by Oculus. We'll just check this one and see. 
Looks to be in there. Sweet. We'll have to look at those, see how much those are worth. Oh, this feels like that's in there. 4G Hub Express. Cool. Um, a picture frame of some sort. Okay. Oh, looks like we have some pictures and paperwork, so I'm not going to show any of the personal stuff. We got more of those VRs. <laughs> how many VRs do you need? Three more of those VR glasses, looks like. And some pictures. Pictures, I'm not gonna show these people's personal pictures. Just phrase, good game. Pictures in there. This, the rest of this looks like personal stuff. So we're not gonna show any of that. And then a of some sort. All right, well that's that for that bin. So we just got like three VRs and a and a 4G Express. So I'll add that up and we'll put that into the next video. All right, guys, this is part five or six of my storage auction clear out. One more giant box, a couple more medium boxes, and like 10 or 15 of the small boxes. Let's get into the next one. 425 so far. And, oh, I was going to throw this on there too. So we have this is a Michael Kors jacket. Um, probably 20 bucks on that. We got another jacket here. Wool jacket, Studio Y. Another 20 bucks, maybe a little bit more from Pico. Um, little plushie here. Never seen one of those. Probably 10 bucks, maybe five bucks. I don't know. Might be just a donator. Um, let's see what we got here. I don't know if I want to pull that out, but that is some kind of tarp. Or I don't know what that is, honestly. I'm not going to pull it out right now. I don't really want to put it back. Oh, so the reason, oh, you got an outdoor bag, uh, $15. Um, the reason why I bought this is for what was in here. That's why I went after the senior. Oh, that, that'll probably get me $20, $25. Um, what else we got? Probably donate that. Probably donate that. Oh, it's good to have one of these as a backup. I I use so much tape. Um, but I'll get to see the reason why I bought this storage unit here in a minute. Not for crosswords. But I do sell coloring books and crosswords. So there was what? One, two, three, four, five. I'll say 25 on that. We got a clock. I don't know. Hopefully that works. That would be cool. I could probably sell that for 20 bucks. Um, we got a wig. I don't know the value of wigs. Let's see what in here. Just some silk sheets, maybe, or something. I don't know. All right. And the reason why I bought this storage unit was for these two paintings right here. Hopefully marked it doesn't look like but i do really well with i've been doing i've sold like three or four for like four hundred dollars each too bad unfortunately there is no marking on this there's no marking on this one either well those are what i bought so hopefully i get like 200 bucks each on those that'd be cool um that's about what i'd probably get for them all right, that's all, and I'll get to the next uh, stuff on the next video. All right, we're at like part seven, I think, of the storage auction clear out, two, two storages. I've already said that. Go back and watch my other videos if you'd like. Um, we're down, getting down to the last two medium-sized boxes, and then we have a bunch of smalls. Don't know what's in any of these, so we'll find out together. I'm so far at $3,000, $3,075, and like I just... 15 more boxes, small boxes, and then two of these mediums. So, looking good so far. Fingers crossed. Uh, this is. Um, okay. So, water fountain or what? 
or something? It's a gamete. That might be. Is that a water shooter? Or a smaller box. Card shuffler. Card shuffler is like some like garage or something. Marble climber, marble run. Oh, no, hopefully that's unopened. What do we have? Looks like some paperwork. Glass protector. Okay. Nothing crazy in there. Pac-Man uh, plush. <laughs> Pig. Alright. Stickers, which I actually do pretty good stickers. Cell phone, TCL cell phone, there we go. So I have the packs. Okay. Okay. That's a value in this one, so we'll probably stop the video. And... Oh, shit, we should just go to the next one. But that's all that's left in there. Let's go to the next box. And we will Paper mache and fur penguin. And the Big Fit Research Team clock. That works. Um, don't know. We'll have to look up the value and add that to the next video. I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. All right. I think we're on video nine of my two storage uh, locker cleanouts. Um, we're on to the small boxes. We're a little over $3,100 so far. And then whatever we get here. Um, this little axe was in there. I'll have to Google Lens that. Get a thing, uh, value on that. This is just a shaving kit. And then we have a solar projection lamp. Don't know the value on either of those. Um, this looks like alcohol glove. Looks like a bunch of gloves. Just sterile wipes and gloves. Not what you want to find. Not, not what you want to find, guys. Not any value in there. All right, this is heavy. What is that? Now, these could have some value. More collectibles. Oh, like stainless steel. Oh, it's a clock. Huh. Definitely have to go. Oh, that's like a stainless steel. You want to it's a bunch of little collectibles in there. We got some little figures. Bunch of little figures. Holy cow. Much like are those pewter. I don't know, they feel like steel actually. I don't know, it's Hudson Pewter. So we'll have to look up all that stuff. So this is like a box just full of pewter. So I think we will, the inventor. So I think we're going to get, I think this box is going to be pretty, pretty good. Sweet. So let's see after the box of gloves. Oh, no. no. Oh, spoke too soon. More gloves. Oh, what else we got in here? Bunch of painting supplies. Some paints. I have to just donate those. Well, one box great, one box sucks, one box sucks. Then we got a Sears crafting in here. I don't know, that's not open. We'll just say that's whatever's in, on the box there. Oh man, what is this? Cords. Oh, okay. 
Okay. This person, oh, that is heavy. Some sort of artwork. More artwork. Um, yeah, something in there. Also, little trinkets. So this is a table that they made pewter chess pieces and put it on there. Um, <laughs> so that's something that I'm probably not going to find the value on. And then there's this little guy here. So this person was a fan of pewter stuff. And weird stuff. I don't know if they were trying to make art. If they were an artist. Or a wannabe artist at least. And then a crystal. And then in this box, looks like they were painters, so they have a bunch of their paintings, which I actually do sell these little homemade, like, paintings, so maybe I'll lot them all together or something. But yeah, it looks like there's just uh, paintings in here. Maybe it could be like here or some sort. So it looks like they were just making art. All right, that's it for these ones, and then we'll, uh, the last few uh, boxes. Hey guys, we're still clearing out those storage units. Um, like I said in every video so far, $500 spent, $3,100 not counting all the pewtered stuff that I just found in the last box that I still have to look up. We got these five boxes and then five or so more. So let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah. Random painting stuff. Wow. So we got a knee brace, some gloves. More painting stuff, it looks like. Okay. Uh, first aid kit. Alright. So far, not really what I want to find. Um, more art stuff. Some like circuits. Some, they're trying to make some kind of art. Okay, we'll look up that, open that in the next video. It's hoping for more like collectible stuff or something, but oh, we have some baseball cards, some regular cards. We'll look up that in the next video. So I can open another phone. So that's two phones. Here we go. We got some some money. They paid eight dollars, five dollars, and six dollars. Okay, and then a phone, which I should probably get for parts 20 bucks. Maybe a bunch of random stuff in that one. Okay, I did not cut that one. So, this has, has the most random, just little stuff in it. Literally the most random boxes of stuff. Model kit. Okay, yeah. Batteries. So batteries, a couple puzzles. I think this is just all the stuff they were just using to make art with. What is that? Box and more boxes of stuff. Well, there we go. We got an iHome and a Beats. We got a Beats. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Little bird. My stuff that's just gonna be easy to work with. So that's cool. A dog, a very heavy dog. A dolphin bottle opener. An elephant. 
I, I literally just sold one of these for like $30 or $40. I'm not sure that's not too bad. We got a little door stopper here. We got a book, a bookshelf. More metal birds. Brass monkeys. Brass monkey. A bunch of brass monkeys. That's a multi, multi quantity on that one. Cool. So I'll have to look up all this. The Lone Sailor United States Navy Memorial Statue. Cool, that's probably got a little bit of value. So actually that box was not too bad. All right guys, I'm gonna get this put away and then we'll get to the last few boxes. All right, we're on video like 10 of the storage unit clear out. I am not, I haven't continued to add because I have to look up some stuff, but we're over 3,000. I paid 500 and the rest, all the stuff. So I four, five, six boxes to go through. Plus I have to add up the other stuff that we just, on the last video, a bunch of pewter stuff, some collectible like brass and metal stuff and a statue. So that one, I should get a couple more hundred dollars out of that and then whatever we got here. So maybe $4,000, uh, 500 into 4,000, which is what I like to see. Uh, and this is just a bunch of old um, postcards, so. I'm not going to go through all those and then some of these are uh, can be worth money too. I sold a, a menu from an old restaurant for like 25 bucks not too long ago. So we'll see if any of those are worth. Maybe I'll just lot them all together in one lot. We got some pictures. Okay. A little box. Some cards. Cards. Dice. Dice. Marble. I think these the people are just using all this stuff for um, to do artwork is what I've come to find out. A ton of dice. So I'll probably lot all these dice up into one lot and let someone deal with those. And then a bunch of trading cards. Um, I don't know. I don't really know. I've sold like I sold the the Beatles ones for like 30, 40 bucks on Amazon before. So I'll scan those on Amazon and then I'll look them up on eBay. But I mean, if we get five bucks per thing of cards, shoot, there's four, eight, nine, 6, 8, 17 plus probably like 30 things of cards in here. Five, 30 times five, I'll take that. All right, what do we got here? More like craft stuff, just a ton of craft stuff. Just cords, oh, little, uh, what is that, a little iPod Nano or whatever it is. Okay, that's just cleaning stuff. Another box in a box. Uh, MVP, some kind of pump. Just a bunch of more random stuff. What the heck is that? Alright. <laughs> Let's break this thing here. Artwork. Picture frame. More frames. Oh, that's cool. A little Sasquatch soap. Clock. Little, that's a pretty cool little pocket watch. Ooh, little car. Alright. Alright, I'm going to go end this video and then we're going to go to the next three bucks. The last. Alright, we're on. Video number 11 of my storage clear out, 500, and I'm guessing around 4,000 is what we're going to be at at the end. Could be more. I have to look up some of these uh, figures and stuff. The pewter, I got a bunch of pewter figures, statues, metal stuff, plus whatever we. Pencils. 
some kind of circuit cloth. Yeah, these people are trying to make all kinds of stuff. Just random artwork everywhere. And then I get a first aid kit. And, uh, what? Why would you have that? This is the most random surgeon I've ever picked up. Very common. <laughs> Interesting. Alright. I don't know. It's about to random this and that one. Oh, that's some stuff to look through. More art stuff. And whatever this is. Oh, a little heater, right? Well, clock or uh, radio, excuse me. High quality telescope. Okay, now we're getting some more. We got some little soluble stuff in there. A bunch of random. Clay stuff. Clay. And we have picture frames. Bunch of pictures. That's what this stuff might be solid, but that's cool. Oh, who wanted the last Bigfoot? Just got a bunch of random ass pictures and stuff that got framed. Um, I'll probably just sell that stuff how it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Nikola Tesla. That's what it says. Yeah, Nikola Tesla picture. That's cool. And then they were trying to be Tesla themselves, all the time. Beakers. Okay. So a bunch of beakers. Alright, that's it.